Green chartreuse substitutes. These are probably two of the most common ones that I think have, you know, been done YouTube video reviews, that kind of vibe. Please check out the previous videos that I did, the 30 minute version, the 10 minute or 11 minute version, and then the seven minute version. If you want to see like what I really think would be a better substitute, but in terms of like astringency, anise versus like sweetness, fennel, that's the difference between these two. So if you've seen other videos and you're like, what's the difference? By the way, the old cootier come back at you with another exciting video. Thought I'd mention that. And remember, I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. I'm just sharing my opinions. And the cornerstone of this entire channel is information. Try to get as much information out there as possible. I would say if you're looking for a green chartreuse substitute, you're a bartender, right? And somebody says, hey, I want this fill-in-the-blank drink that has green chartreuse in it. Ask your customer. Say, hey, do you want it more drier and more anise flavor forward? Or do you want it sweeter and more fennel forward? Okay, black licorice is a term that's used way too loosely. Medicinal, what does that mean? In my opinion, black licorice is black licorice. That's what it tastes like. It's got that very strong black licorice kind of flavor. Think like Jägermeister or like Hildy, that Hildy drink. That's black licorice to me. This is more anise. So think of like star anise or that anise flavor. This is like 85% anise, maybe 45% fennel. It's also 45% alcohol by volume. So packs a punch, right? But in terms of sweetness to astringency or like being alcohol forward, I would say this is like 85% alcohol forward, spirit forward, clears your sinuses, an explosion in your sinus cavity of like heat, right? Whereas this one, this one is more fennel forward. So you're getting a little more sweet fennel bulb. Think of like taking a fennel bulb, right? Like th that you buy at the market cut it up into slices, put it on a barbecue with like some honey drizzled over it and let it roast and let all those flavors meld. You're getting honey and you're getting fennel more than you're getting anise, but you're also getting sweetness. Like, like this is an older bottle that I just bought, but when I cracked it open, there were like sugar crystals crystallizing on the top part. So just to kind of give you an idea. By the way, if any of these companies are watching, I'm not sponsored by you. I'm not getting paid by you, but if you want to, you know, contact me for some kind of partnership in the future or something, I would love to hear from either one of these companies. They have different uses. You know, that's basically the best way to describe it is, is like I said, if you're a bartender at a bar, somebody asks for something that has green chartreuse in it and they want it drier, less sweet, I'd go with the Genepi. If they want something sweeter that tastes like or similar to green chartreuse, but they want something more sweeter, right? On the sweeter end of the spectrum, I should say. And maybe something that has a little more fennel flavor to it with like maybe notes of like honey and that kind of vibe. Then go with the Boomsma Kluster Bitter. So that's the main difference between the two. So if you're out there like me and you're watching all of these YouTube videos or wherever you get your content from and you're like, I want a green chartreuse substitute. I just don't know which one to pick. Honestly, you can't go wrong if you pick both of them and just keep the Genepi Chamois, right? It used to be called Genepi de Herbes. I think they changed the name or Le Herbes, something like that. They changed the name. But if you want something more astringent, drier, green chartreuse alternative or substitute, because green chartreuse is so damn hard to find, go with the Genepi. If you want something more sweeter, your customer is asking for something more of like a honey sweet green chartreuse-esque flavor kind of tasting thing, then go with the boom smoke. So remember, 85% alcohol forward, 15% sweet. This is more sweet than it is alcohol forward. I would say like the reverse that. So it's like 85% sweet, 50% alcohol forward. This one's more anise. This one's more fennel. That's the difference between the two. Anyways, I'm the old coot, and I'll catch you all on the next exciting video.